My name is Joseph Carlo, and I made something sort of cool that I wanted to tell you about. It's called Midnight Service, a This and That Tapes Benefit for the Mütter Museum, and it exists as a cassette mixtape, and a zine of art, lyrics, and writing, and a digital download if for some reason you don't have a tape deck anymore, or you haven't like gotten with the times and gotten one. I understand. Um, so what is Midnight Service? Um, about a year ago, I was listening to the song Midnight Service at the Moody Museum by the Murder City Devils. Excellent song, right? Um, and I was thinking, isn't it wild that I get to live in the same city as the Moody Museum? And then I was like, isn't it even wilder that Spencer Moody, the singer for the Murder City Devils, is actually one of the artists on my label? Wouldn't it be so rad if I could combine the two? Um, so I did. I talked to Spencer, and he was really into the idea of doing a fundraiser for the museum. And I met with some of the fine folks like Natalie and Aaron at the museum, um, and they were really excited about the idea. So we've spent the past year or so working together um, on this compilation benefit. And so what we have is a mixtape of 11 new songs. Um, these are songs ranging from, you know, hip-hop beat samples, um, singer-songwriter, folk, um, some really lush orchestral arrangements, really beautiful songs, um, sort of anchored around a reworking of the song Midnight Service at the Buddha Museum by Spencer and his uh, friend Ben Chisholm. Um, and then we have an art scene that contains lyrics from the tape, um, it also contains essays from some uh, writers who had a lot to say about the museum um, and some art from other people who love it. Because I found, once I put a call out and started asking people, you know, would you like to do something to benefit the Mütter Museum, the response was like overwhelmingly positive. Everyone who'd been there had something lovely to say about it and everyone felt inspired when they walked around the museum. So much so that most of the art in this compilation was made specifically for it, so it's, it's things about the museum, um, which I think is really cool and really wonderful. So, what can you do to be a part of this? Well, you can log on to thisandthattapes.com um, and you can get yourself the cassette or the digital download or the zine. Um, the cassette and the zine come with the digital download. Um, you can continue watching this video and see the wonderful sets um, done during quarantine by uh, many of the artists who are on the cassette or in the zine. Um, or you can go visit the Mütter. You can donate directly to them. You can buy something from their uh, museum shop. Um, there are a lot of great ways to support them, and it's a really cool organization. So, thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Alright, bye! <laughs> Pizza boy. His eyes are like really pretty marbles. <laughs>
Plant Magic by Katie Hagley. I spent most of last year writing a book with my friend Nadine. It's about plant-based cleaning and body products and we called it The Kitchen Witch, taking the spelling from a cool old article we found during our research. To make recipes for the book, I tinkered in my kitchen and my little herb garden out back. I indulged in the pleasures of growing my own thyme and sage, lavender and rosemary. I breathed in their scents as I made cuttings and hung them from the ceiling to dry. Rosemary, my favorite, is believed to have antimicrobial properties, and its warm, spicy smell is a balm for my soul. It happens that during this time, I was going through something very painful, a kind of family crisis that kept threatening to break me. Working on my book was a huge source of comfort, but I had so much anguish my body ached. I just wanted to be okay again. I took to hanging out in the library for hours, reading 17th century European herbals and books about Appalachian, Aztec, West African, and indigenous American plant wisdom. It was fascinating to learn something of the long history of the ways people have used plants to heal themselves, and I tried to cram my brain full. Nadine reminded me about the Benjamin Rush Medicinal Plant Garden at the College of Physicians, so I went there too. Dr. Rush, who helped found the college in the late 1900s, believed that keeping a garden of plants that were used to treat illness and injury would support the medicinal approach taught at the college. The garden was finally installed in 1937 in honor of his wishes, and today more than 60 varieties of plants grow there. On my visit, I took my time in the Mütter Museum first and winced with sympathy as I looked at tumors and crooked vertebrae. I teared up at the sight of a wall of skulls, all belonging to people who had once lived full lives, then died a million different ways. Eventually, I made my way out into the garden. In the height of summer, it was still and fragrant. I took pictures and notes, but all I really wanted to do was touch and smell the plants, hug and kiss them, be their friend. Hurting the way I was, I could have visited the museum and become preoccupied with illness and suffering, but stepping out into the open air of the garden reminded me, with a feeling of surprise like waking back up, that illness and wellness aren't opposites. None of us is either totally sick or totally healthy. That's not how life works. The healing I've done hasn't erased the trauma I sustained. Both things are a part of me now. Both have helped me grow. There is so much to say about the many ways people around the world have thought about plants and their medicinal properties. Too much to cover completely in any one book. But it doesn't matter. You don't need to make a study of these histories to benefit from what the plants have to offer. I say start small. Go for a walk in a garden. Find a rosemary plant and breathe in its rich scent. Breathe deeply and be a body. A body that already knows how to heal. Hello, I am Joe Jack Talcum, and I'm going to play a song called Evolution of a Disease. Bear all, bear water, my body's in trouble. I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick. Now
I'm Corey J. Brewer. I'm introducing my track Through the Mirror. This song was written as a part of a rescore for the 1971 film The Velvet Vampire that was going to be performed at the 2020 Olympia Film Festival, which has obviously now been postponed. And uh, But in the meantime, I'm honored to have it be a part of this compilation to benefit the Motor Museum, a space that I've always really enjoyed visiting in the times that I've had the opportunity to do so. I've taken the track and have overlaid it over the original trailer for The Velvet Vampire, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for having me, and um, good luck out there.
this song called Breaking Down My Mother. Why God give that back to me? Stop breaking down my mama. Would you please don't move that tree, see? You're breaking down my mama. Would you spray on the leaves, get my bird's disease? Me, you're breaking down my mama. All that trash just don't make sense to me. Stop breaking down my mama. Well, what you gonna do with all this waste? You can't bury it or burn it. Please, cause I was in the mother no last week. Innovation, I plan exploitation. Why you breaking down my mother? Breaking down my mother, you're breaking down my mother. Who's breaking down my mother? You're breaking down my mother, yo, you're breaking it down. Why you breaking it down, boy? I said you're breaking it down, and you're breaking it down. You're breaking it down. Why you gotta drive to work every morning? Stop breaking down my mother. Isn't global warming enough of a warning? Stop breaking down my mother. Do you think you can save is the idea dawning? Stop breaking down my mother. What you said up comes down, that's a cycle that's ground. But nothing but weeds don't grow in this ground. There's a natural fact, and indeed it was vast. But as you can see, it just did not last. Stop breaking down my mother. Breaking down my mother, you're breaking down my mother. Who's breaking down my mother? You're breaking down my mother, you're, you're breaking it down, boy. Why you breaking it down now? I said you're breaking it down, and you're breaking it down. What you eat, what you put on your feet, what you wear in your hair, what about the air, gas, fuel, Automobiles, some of drives are tradition. And so was their condition. Cold, gold, diamonds, and steel. I have a feeling we're in no position to use the ease. Bring the mother to her knees. She gave us life, huh? We're the disease. Stop breaking down, my mother. You're breaking down, my mother. You're breaking down, my mother. Who's breaking down, my mother? You're breaking down, my mother. You're breaking it down, boy. Breaking down, boy. Did you break it down? You're breaking it down. You're breaking it down. Our burgers, the third world breaks us back. It's not humanity, the human struggle. See, we can't live without the jungle. Stop breaking down, my mother. Breaking down, my mother. You're breaking down, my mother. Who's breaking down, my mother? You're breaking down, my mother. Do you break it down, boy? Why you breaking it down now? You're breaking it down, then you're breaking it down. You're breaking it down. You're breaking it down. You're breaking it down. Peace, y'all. Hi, my name is Erin. I help fundraise at the College of Physicians of Philadelphia and the Mütter Museum. Thank you so much for watching our video and thank you to the amazing artists that recorded themselves and contributed their pieces to the mixtape. And also thank you to Joe for coming up with the idea in the first place and doing so much work behind this. If you haven't grabbed a mixtape or a zine yet, you can head to thisandthattapes.com or if you'd like to support us in other ways, you can donate to us directly, become a member of the museum, or keep attending all our amazing events. And for more information, you can go to mootermuseum.org. Thank you. Gifts to her